All right, today we're going to finish our pizza. Uh, we have our pizza dough made. If you saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. There we go. I had six little individual portions of dough that I left in the fridge overnight. And uh, again, you can make it fresh right when the dough's ready, but I think it's a little more supple, a little more tender if you do it overnight. So anyway, there's my one piece of dough. Now you got to bring that to room temperature, okay? Now I want you to preheat your oven to 500 degrees. I'm not kidding. It does go that high. Uh, maybe you never had it on that high. I hope it's clean. Anyway, you got to have a hot oven to make pizza. Now here's my trick, and I really hope you have one of these uh, silicone mats. If you don't, you can do this on a floured board. But see, I don't want to add any more flour to the dough. It's so perfect right now. Uh, you can also do this with plastic wrap. But anyway, those silicone mats, they're so useful. So I'm going to put it down on my mat. I'm going to put a piece of plastic wrap over it. And this way I can spread it out and roll it and get it really thin without any extra flour. All right? If you did this on a cutting board, uh, you could do it, but you'd have to keep probably adding a little dusting of flour here and there so it wouldn't stick. And uh, it would just make for a tougher dough. All right, so we don't want to work this too much. Again, it's at room temperature, so it's really easy to work with. And if you have, uh, you don't have a silicone mat, two pieces of plastic probably will work. And that's it. See how thin that is? Like an eighth of an inch thick. I really like a, a thin crust. That way it gets crispy at the same time the top cooks. And uh, anyway, here we go. We're going to take some cornmeal, and I'm going to sprinkle it over. Now this top is actually going to be the bottom. So what I want to do here is I want to sprinkle a good amount of cornmeal so it gets that you know, kind of original pizzeria kind of little crunch on the bottom of the crust. Also helps it from sticking to my pizza pan. So sprinkle, I don't know, it's about a teaspoon or so. Now here's my real secret. Get yourself one of these pizza pans. They're round and they have lots of holes in them. Okay, Regular pans are going to work if you don't have one of these. But uh, these are really nice. It lets the heat come up through and really makes for a nice crispy crust. So try to find one of those very inexpensive. Any of uh, those Bed Bath & Beyond kitchen supply stores are going to have them. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my pan down and I'm gonna actually going to flip over the pizza dough so the cornmeal side is down and then because I'm using my beautiful silicone mat or silpat as they're called in the industry I can peel that right off and I'm ready to build my pizza. Okay. Again, plastic wrap would work, just not as easy. Uh, so, there you go. Now, first mistake a lot of people make when they make pizza, way too much sauce. All right, I just put basically one big tablespoon on there, and I'm going to spread that nice and thin. All right, I like to go almost all the way to the edge. I'm not a big crust guy. All right, the crust for me is just a pizza handle. All right, it's just to hold the pizza. Uh, so I'm going to get pretty close to the edge. But again, one spoon for me was plenty. You get too much sauce, then you have too much sauce. All right, so my pizza sauce is down. All right, that's enough of that. Now, what I like to do next, and by the way, I'm just making my favorite pizza here. I'm gonna put some fresh herb down. Those are whole oregano leaves, fresh oregano leaves from the garden. Of course, Italian parsley, fresh basil, marjoram, whatever you like will work here. So I put down 27 fresh oregano leaves. All right, so there we go. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of meat because I'm a carnivore, hardcore, and I'm going to just do a little bit of Italian ham, prosciutto or parma ham. Um, now I you know pepperoni is a traditional meat for pizza. I find it a little uh, too oily, too greasy, and uh, see, I'm taking this really thin shredded uh, prosciutto, just a few slices. It looks like a lot, but it's just paper thin. So I uh, distributed that. Now comes a little bit of black pepper. You can't see it, you gotta trust me. You can see the shadow shaking, that was me grinding. Now at this point, most of you will put on a little bit of grated mozzarella. I'm lucky enough to live next to some really nice cheese stores, so I got some fresh mozzarella, which basically crumbles instead of uh, shreds. It's, it's too soft to shred. So I crumbled my mozzarella on there. Again, I didn't cover the whole thing. It's uh, just the right amount. Now to contrast the creamy, kind of bland mozzarella, I sprinkled on some Parmesan and just a little drizzle of olive oil. It's going to help the top brown a little bit, add a little flavor, and that is ready for my 500 degree oven. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes. All right, now your results may vary because you might not have one of those beautiful pans with the holes, but that was me about 10, 11 minutes later. Man, that is unbelievable. Let me zoom in. Close up of bubbling cheese just to torture you. Look at that. Now, 
The other thing I like about the, uh, the pan with the holes, I'm going to let it cool on this pan because it's going to let the uh, steam coming out of that hot dough evaporate and uh, the bottom is nice and crispy, so it's going to stay crispy. If you put this right onto a cutting board or a plate, then it might soften up a little bit, but we want a crispy crust and chewy, delicious, succulent topping. And there's our pizza, again, heart-shaped. By the way, if it bothers you that this isn't perfectly round, um, you, I don't know, you might have issues. So anyway, homemade pizza doesn't have to be round. As long as it's thin and you don't, too much, don't put too much uh, sauce and toppings, you're going to have just an amazing, amazing uh, pizza experience. And I hope you give this a try. Homemade pizza is the best. And, uh, you know, not that hard. By the way, might be a couple days before our next clip is up. As you know, I'm working on the new site, which is coming along nicely. If you um, want to check in, make sure you check foodwishes.com. Eventually, all the new clips will be there, and we'll just do, you know, uh, weekly updates on YouTube and the other sites. So anyway, uh, give that a try and enjoy.